What if your community faced an overwhelming influx of people overnight? The UK's refugee crisis is straining the nation's resources. A growing number of refugees are putting immense pressure on Britain's housing and public services. This escalating issue demands immediate action. It's a complex problem, exacerbated by policy changes and insufficient support systems. The situation is particularly severe in London. What was once a thriving city is now struggling to accommodate the growing numbers. The crisis reflects broader economic and social challenges facing the UK. Decisions made at the highest levels have significant impacts on the country's resources. Will the UK find a sustainable solution or continue to face mounting pressures on its infrastructure? In recent years, London has witnessed a significant surge in homelessness. The influx of migrants and refugees has placed immense pressure on the city's resources. From the heart of the city to its outskirts, the number of people without a home has dramatically increased. Shelters are overwhelmed and public services are struggling to cope with the demand. Charities and volunteers are working tirelessly to provide support, but resources are stretched thin. The situation is dire and the need for effective policy intervention has never been more urgent. Despite numerous discussions and proposed solutions, the crisis continues to escalate. The question remains, what will it take to address the impact of migration on London's housing crisis? At the heart of the UK's escalating refugee crisis lies a series of policy changes by the Home Office. These changes have led to a significant influx of refugees, severely straining resources and public services. The 28-day notice period to vacate government-provided accommodation is now fraught with uncertainty. Previously, this countdown began when refugees received their biometric residence permit. This allowed them to access essential services and benefits, often at the expense of local citizens. They could secure housing, seek employment, and integrate into society, while many locals struggle. Now, the countdown starts from the asylum decision letter, reducing their time frame. This change has had catastrophic consequences, pushing many refugees into homelessness, while the government fails to prioritize its people. In the UK, the influx of refugees places significant strain on the country's resources, with only 28 days given to transition from asylum support to mainstream benefits or employment. This short period often overwhelms the system, making it difficult to manage housing allocations and welfare distribution effectively. The pressure to accommodate and integrate refugees in such a limited time frame can lead to systemic inefficiencies and resource depletion. The sudden demand for housing and social services creates barriers for effective management and strains local communities. Without sufficient infrastructure and support, the risk of increased homelessness and resource scarcity becomes high. Section 3. The Biometric Barrier Delays and Despair Bureaucratic hurdles and processing delays exacerbate the strain on the UK's resources, leaving both refugees and local citizens in limbo. The BRP, essential for legal residency and access to services, has become a bottleneck, intensifying the pressure on housing and employment sectors. Without it, securing housing, employment and benefits is nearly impossible, further straining local resources. Landlords and employers hesitate without a BRP, fearing legal repercussions, which limits opportunities for everyone. Access to vital support systems hinges on possessing this permit, adding to the burden on local services. Obtaining the BRP is a lengthy process, often stretching weeks or months, causing significant delays and frustration. The result is a climate of fear and uncertainty, leaving both refugees and local citizens in limbo. Section 1. The Numbers Tell the Story A Statistical Snapshot of a Growing Crisis The UK's policy shift on refugee accommodation has led to a rapidly escalating crisis. In London, the impact is acute with a growing strain on housing resources. The influx of migrants and refugees has alarmed housing support organizations. In July 2023, 11 individuals were recorded as sleeping rough. By September, this surged to 102, an 827% increase. This spike correlates with the new 28-day notice period policy. These figures likely only scratch the surface of a larger problem. Official stats capture only visible rough sleepers, not the full scale. Many migrants and refugees face precarious living situations, including overcrowded shelters. The Red Cross estimates 50,000 migrants and refugees could be at risk. 
This projection underscores the urgency for action. The UK must decide whether to protect its resources or let the crisis escalate. Section 2. The Strain on Resources and Housing The influx of migrants and refugees has put immense pressure on the UK's resources. Public services are overwhelmed, struggling to meet the needs of an increasing population. The housing system is particularly strained, with limited availability and growing demand. Landlords are hesitant to rent to individuals without a credit history, complicating the situation. Shelters are overcrowded, and many find themselves without a place to stay. The streets of major cities are seeing an increase in homelessness. Charities and volunteers are stretched thin, trying to provide basic necessities. The situation highlights the urgent need for effective policies to manage the impact on resources and housing. Section 3. Strain on Resources – The Impact of Migrants and Refugees on Housing and Resources The influx of migrants and refugees into the UK has placed significant pressure on the country's housing and resources, leading to overcrowded shelters and strained public services. The 28-day notice period for asylum seekers exacerbates the already high demand for housing, making it difficult for local authorities to manage the influx. The administrative burden on public housing offices has increased, with staff struggling to process the growing number of applications for housing and support. Educational resources are also stretched thin, with schools in areas with high numbers of migrants and refugees facing overcrowded classrooms and limited resources. Healthcare services are under pressure, with long waiting times and limited availability of medical care for both the local population and new arrivals. The competition for affordable housing has intensified, with landlords often reluctant to rent to new arrivals due to concerns about stability and financial security. Affordable housing options are scarce, particularly in urban areas like London, where the demand far outstrips supply. The limited time frame for securing housing adds to the urgency and competition, making it difficult for both migrants and local residents to find suitable accommodation. Bureaucratic hurdles and language barriers further complicate the process, adding to the strain on public services and resources. The housing shortage has led to increased evictions and a rise in temporary accommodations, putting additional pressure on local authorities. The broader impact on society includes a rise in homelessness and the visible strain on community resources. The system is struggling to cope with the challenges posed by the influx of migrants and refugees, highlighting the need for more effective policies and resource allocation. The UK must address these challenges to ensure that its resources and housing policies can adequately support both its existing population and new arrivals. Section 4. A City Overwhelmed London's Struggle to Cope with the Surge London a global city renowned for its diversity is grappling with the overwhelming influx of refugees. The city's shelters are overflowing, their capacity stretched to the breaking point. Resources are being strained and housing is in short supply. Meanwhile, many UK citizens are left homeless, neglected by their own government. Section 5. The Hidden Homeless – An Invisible Crisis Unfolds Beneath the surface lies a hidden crisis, a silent epidemic of homelessness that often goes unnoticed. The hidden homeless are those living in precarious and unsustainable situations, as shelters and services are overwhelmed by the influx of refugees. The Red Cross estimates that for every person sleeping rough, there are at least nine others trapped in hidden homelessness. The influx of refugees has overwhelmed shelters and services, while the government fails to support its own citizens. British citizens are left struggling with homelessness and lack of resources. A moral reckoning, the UK's values put to the test. The influx of migrants and refugees has severely strained public services and housing. 
The pressure on housing has led to overcrowded conditions and a shortage of homes. The UK's response to this crisis will shape its identity and legacy for generations to come. The escalating refugee and migrant crisis is putting immense pressure on the UK's resources and public services. Refugees and migrants arriving in the UK are significantly increasing the demand for housing. Meanwhile, British citizens are facing severe housing shortages and a growing crisis. The UK government appears to allocate more resources to refugees, neglecting its own citizens. This has led to growing public frustration and demands for the government to prioritize its people. The economic fallout, beyond the humanitarian cost. The UK's refugee homelessness crisis places a significant strain on resources. Local authorities and charities face immense financial pressure, struggling to cope with the influx. The housing market is overwhelmed and public services are stretched to their limits. The allocation of aid to refugees raises concerns about the diversion of resources from the local population. At the core of the UK's refugee homelessness crisis is a significant strain on resources. The influx of migrants and refugees places immense pressure on the country's housing and social services. The current housing system is overburdened, struggling to accommodate the growing numbers. Limited resources are being stretched thin, impacting services for all residents. Addressing this issue requires coordinated action from policymakers, the media, and civil society. The influx of migrants and refugees has placed a significant strain on the UK's resources and housing. The government is struggling to manage the increased demand for housing and public services. Public services are overburdened, and the housing crisis has been exacerbated. Limited resources mean that the needs of the existing population are unmet. The housing shortages are not just a matter of policy failure, but also a matter of resource allocation. The influx of migrants and refugees into the UK has led to overcrowded shelters and severely strained resources. This situation highlights significant policy failures and issues in resource allocation. Public services are overwhelmed, and the refugee crisis further intensifies these pressures. Housing shortages are becoming more acute, raising criticism of the government's response. Social tension is rising, and integrating refugees is increasingly difficult. Section 2. Extending the Lifeline. Rethinking the 28-day notice period. At the heart of the UK's refugee crisis lies the contentious 28-day notice period, a policy that has inadvertently exacerbated the strain on the country's resources and housing. To mitigate the pressure on public services and housing, a fundamental rethink of this policy is urgently required, replacing it with a system that balances support for refugees with the needs of the broader community. The current 28-day time frame, implemented with the intention of expediting the asylum process, has proven woefully inadequate and unrealistic. It fails to account for the complexities of securing housing in a competitive market and accessing essential services, all while the country's resources are stretched thin. Extending the notice period to a minimum of six months would provide a necessary adjustment, allowing for better management of housing and public services. This extended time frame would enable a more structured approach to resource allocation, ensuring that public services are not overwhelmed. Furthermore, the notice period should be tailored to individual circumstances, recognizing that different cases require different levels of support and time. A one-size-fits-all approach is simply not appropriate for managing such a diverse population. By extending the notice period and providing a more balanced approach, the UK can better manage its resources and housing creating a system that is sustainable and fair. Section 3. Bridging the Gap. Early Intervention and Support Services. 
The influx of refugees has placed a significant strain on housing resources and support services, which are already stretched thin. This competition for limited resources often leaves both refugees and local residents without adequate support, overburdening systems that are unable to meet the growing demand. Asylum seekers face long waits for essential services like legal aid and language courses, with insufficient culturally sensitive support available. The lack of adequate support makes navigating the asylum process even more challenging, while housing shortages are exacerbated by the increasing number of refugees. Housing officers are overwhelmed by the demand and often lack the expertise needed to address the specific housing needs of refugees. Refugees face significant difficulties in finding affordable housing, leading to increased competition for the limited options available. Healthcare and mental health services are under immense pressure, and opportunities for employment training and education are scarce. Trauma-informed services are inadequate, and there is limited promotion of dignity and empowerment for refugees. The UK is struggling to manage the impact of the refugee influx, with communities facing significant challenges in integrating refugees. Section 4. Housing as a Human Right, Addressing the Root Causes The UK's housing crisis is exacerbated by the influx of migrants and refugees, putting immense pressure on the already strained resources. Decades of underfunding, inadequate supply, and a lack of political will have created a perfect storm, leaving the nation struggling to provide safe, secure, and affordable housing for its citizens. Addressing the root causes of this crisis requires a paradigm shift, recognizing the limitations of current policies and prioritizing long-term solutions that ensure sustainable housing for all. The UK government must commit to building significantly more social housing, prioritizing the needs of its citizens. This requires a sustained investment in affordable housing construction, along with policies that encourage the development of mixed-income communities and prevent the sale of existing social housing stock. Furthermore, rent controls and regulations are essential to curb the spiraling cost of housing, making it more accessible to those on low incomes. This requires challenging the dominance of market forces in the housing sector and prioritizing the needs of people over profit. Addressing the housing crisis is not only a matter of social justice, but also a sound economic investment. Providing stable and affordable housing reduces healthcare costs, improves educational outcomes, and boosts productivity, benefiting society as a whole. By tackling the root causes of the housing crisis, the UK can create a fairer and more equitable society, ensuring that resources are allocated efficiently and sustainably. Section 5. A Community Effort. The Strain on Resources and Housing. Addressing the UK's refugee homelessness crisis is a significant challenge, as it places immense pressure on the country's resources and housing infrastructure. The influx of refugees has led to overcrowded housing, strained public services, and increased competition for limited resources. Community organizations and local authorities are struggling to cope with the increased demand for services, often without adequate funding or resources. The strain on public transportation, healthcare, and education systems is evident, as these services are stretched to their limits. The job market is also affected, with increased competition for employment opportunities, making it harder for both refugees and locals to find work. The housing crisis is exacerbated by the influx of refugees, leading to longer waiting lists and overcrowded living conditions. Local councils are under significant pressure to allocate resources effectively, often facing difficult decisions and limited options. The increased strain on resources has led to community tensions and public protests, as locals express their concerns about the impact on their quality of life. Policymakers are tasked with finding sustainable solutions to manage the influx of refugees while addressing the concerns of local communities. Ultimately, the challenge lies in balancing the needs of refugees with the capacity of local resources and infrastructure, ensuring the strain on the country's systems does not compromise the well-being of all residents.
The UK stands at a crossroads. The escalating influx of refugees is not merely a political issue or a statistical anomaly, it's a pressing concern demanding immediate attention. The strain on public services is becoming untenable. Overcrowded housing and stretched resources are now the norm. The policies enacted, the choices made in this pivotal moment will resonate far beyond the immediate crisis, shaping the very fabric of British society for generations to come. The consequences of inaction are far too grave to ignore. Allowing this situation to fester will not only inflict further suffering on British citizens who are already struggling, but it will also erode the very values of fairness and responsibility that the UK claims to uphold. It will diminish its standing on the world stage, tarnishing its reputation as a nation capable of managing its own affairs. This is not the time for political maneuvering or short-sighted budget cuts. It is a time for leadership, for courage, and for a reaffirmation of the fundamental values that have long defined the UK as a nation. The government, policymakers, civil society organizations, businesses, and individuals all have a role to play in crafting a more balanced and effective response to this crisis. The solutions are within reach, policy changes, increased support for British citizens, a commitment to addressing the affordable housing crisis, and a concerted effort to ensure fair treatment for all. These are the building blocks of a more just and responsible society. The UK has the resources, the expertise, and most importantly, the responsibility to look after its people. As we grapple with policy debates and the complexities of the UK's asylum system, it's crucial to recognize the strain that the influx of refugees places on our resources and communities. The increasing numbers are putting immense pressure on local services and housing. Shelters are becoming overcrowded, and the competition for space is intensifying, making it harder for UK citizens to find the support they need. Healthcare services are stretched thin, with longer waiting times and reduced availability of care, impacting the well-being of the local population. The education system is also under pressure, with schools struggling to accommodate the growing number of students, leading to larger class sizes and diminished quality of education. Local economies are feeling the strain as resources are diverted to support the influx of refugees, leaving fewer opportunities and support for UK citizens. The housing crisis is exacerbated with an increased demand for affordable housing, driving up prices and making it more difficult for locals to secure homes. It is easy to become desensitized to the plight of others, to view the refugee crisis as an abstract problem. But the reality is that it directly affects our own citizens. This crisis is unfolding on our doorstep, in our communities, and it demands a response that prioritizes the needs of our own people, ensuring that our government looks after its citizens. The UK's response to the refugee homelessness crisis will have far-reaching implications, shaping its legacy not just within its own borders but on the world stage. At a time when global displacement is at an all-time high, when millions are fleeing conflict, persecution, and the devastating effects of climate change, the UK's actions will either reinforce its commitment to human rights and international cooperation or erode its moral authority and standing in the world. The world is watching. How the UK chooses to address this crisis will send a powerful message about its values, its priorities, and its willingness to uphold its international obligations. A response that prioritizes the influx of refugees over the needs of its own citizens could overwhelm local communities, strain public services, and create tensions within society. Conversely, a response that neglects the needs of its own people, allowing public services to be stretched thin and failing to address the concerns of its citizens, will further isolate the government from its electorate. It will signal to the world that the UK is turning its back on its own people, abandoning its commitment to the very principles it claims to champion. The choice is clear. The UK can choose to be a force for good in the world, a beacon of hope for those seeking sanctuary, a nation that lives up to its values and sets an example for others to follow. Or it can choose to turn inwards, to embrace isolationism and fear, to define its legacy by its indifference to the suffering of others. The path forward is clear. The time to act is now.
The UK's refugee crisis has placed immense pressure on the country's resources and housing. The influx of migrants and refugees has led to overcrowded urban areas and strained public services. Shelters are overburdened, and the availability of housing has become increasingly limited, exacerbating the homelessness issue. Public services face long queues and increased demand, making it difficult for local residents to access the support they need. Legal aid offices are overwhelmed, and language barriers further complicate the provision of essential services. Community resources are stretched thin, leading to public frustration with how resources are allocated. The economic impact of the refugee crisis places a financial strain on local governments, affecting their ability to serve all residents. Integrating refugees presents significant challenges, contributing to social tensions in urban areas. The debate over refugee policies continues with calls for stricter immigration controls to manage the crisis and protect resources.